Hi everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot here to do a random reading for May 19th. That happens to be my daughter's birthday. Happy birthday, Beans. I love you. She is a wonderful 20 years old. Where's the time go? Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared my channel. You rock. And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all that info will be in the box below. And anyone that wants to get into the contest, all you got to do is make a $5 donation. And the top prizes are a one-hour free reading, whether you want it over the phone or in a video. The second prize is a half-hour reading, done the same way. And then the third prize would be a mystery healing box that we will send to your door. That being said, let's do a reading. This is actually the second time I attempted this. So let's see if we have victory and success. We're going to start off with the Popus. Like the Hierophant, known as a Taurus, having faith, having hope, doing things in a conventional way. And then we get the Three of Wands. Taking a certain course of action and seeing if that action brings your ship in. We have the Eight of Cups. Let's see if you see that. And that's the emotionally walking away card. But something just doesn't cut it anymore, so somebody leaves to find something that is more emotionally fulfilling. Maybe somebody's following a dream here or a passion. Hmm. Now we have the Page of Wands, a message to take a course of action. It's almost like somebody believes in themselves and their talents enough that they just jump ship or hit the road or something and they just emotionally detach from where they are and embark on something on their own. They took that course of action. And now we have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or somebody who takes on these properties. This is somebody who is very direct, precise. They mean what they say. They say what they mean. They speak the truth. And they're very focused. They're very clear and objective. Again, I think somebody is very clear on where they want their life to go. And they're going to take that course of action. They believe in themselves. Oh, now they said that. Hold on, I dropped one. It's face up. We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Now, in the upright, this would be a messenger of something sentimental, something heartfelt. But in the reverse, it's not coming in. And then the next card that came out is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. An opportunity that seems to be on pause. I think all aces are still good cards, you know, whether they're upright or in the reverse. It's just something's being delayed. This offer to have something new is being delayed till somebody takes a course of action. Okay. Somebody needs to detach from what they know. <laughs> now I just said that. You get the Ten of Pentacles, but this was in reverse as well. Now, the Ten of Pentacles could be having, you know, all the material things that you need. It's also a family card. That all is well in the family, that there is contentment. But it's in the reverse. So this could be chaotic. This could be somebody walking away from a family dynamic. Because something's not being said here. And the course of action is to detach. Yeah, this could be maybe a dysfunctional family 
And somebody's like, peace out. I'm going to do something for myself. Yep. Oof. Because now you get the tower. You get something that comes in hard and fast and you never see it coming. It's like it blows the lid off this. And I can see why because it's next to the Ten of Cups in reverse. A heated argument, something just gets out of control. It just blows the lid right off this dynamic. Wow. And somebody's like, yep, I'm hitting the road. Because then you have justice. Also known as Libra. But something being rectified, something being justified, something being made fair. Whether it's in the court system. Or if this is karmic justice. And this is right under the Queen of Swords. So there's your Libra and there's your Gemini. So somebody could be dealing with the air sign that's very clear and focused what they want to do. Because air signs have, you know, a, a unique gift of turning off the emotion valve, you know, and being straight analytical and just being intellectual. Wow, let's get into it. In that bottom of the deck, you get the Six of Wands. Now here's victory and success, overcoming a battle and being victorious, coming back from a battle and being victorious. And you know what? And I think somebody took, made a brave move here. So let's get into it. So we have the Popus, which is like the hair font. Having faith, having hope, doing things in a conventional way. But somebody here wants to embark on something new. They want to take a certain course of action to see if it brings their ship in. Because this person emotionally has had enough of some sort of situation. And they want to take a course of action. This person could be an air-like person or dealing with one. But this is somebody who is clear, focused, driven. This is somebody who is precise and direct. Their emotions take a back seat. As they put them right here, they're not going to get emotional. They're going to stay analytical. Because something's not being offered. Now, this could be in a friendship, partnership, business ship, love ship. You know, it's not being offered and somebody doesn't think they have any worth and value in something. Because something is not being offered. It could be in the family. Somebody might feel used, underappreciated. And then something happens, something explodes. This is like the final straw. And somebody takes that course of action because you know what? They were being fair to themselves. To see what's out there. Perhaps to chase a dream. I should say pursue a dream. And do what's right by them. And that in itself is a victory. So, let's break it down. Somebody had a lot of faith and a lot of hope that something was going to be offered. But this didn't get offered or it's delayed. So this person decided to go find, you know, that valuable, worthwhile thing what's valuable and worthwhile to them. It could be a rocky home life and they just emotionally detached and walked away from it. Because it came to them. Yeah. After maybe a heated argument or some sort of mind-blowing dynamic that this person did take that course of action. And they did it with a clear mind. And they did 
what was fair and right for themselves. Self-love, self-respect. And because this person had enough respect, you know, not to let themselves be used or taken advantage of. There's a victory in that. So, folks, that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. And I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.